Quentin Tarantino's ninth feature film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It comes out on Friday. So to catch you up on his work, we're checking out the coolest things you need to know about his movies. It's on the hot list. Hey, we watched a Rick Dalton double feature. <laughs> All the shooting. <laughs> I love that stuff, you know, with the killing. A lot of killing. Sounds like he's talking about Quentin Tarantino's movies. The first of his flicks we're checking out is his ninth film and is new this Friday. It's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm in the movie. Margot Robbie isn't the only big star in this highly rated film. There's Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Kurt Russell, Dakota Fanning, and Al Pacino, too. Don't you forget it. True Tarantino fans have seen these stars in the director's previous films. Let's run the numbers on his most frequent collaborators. That's at number two. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. This is DiCaprio's second Tarantino movie following Django Unchained and Brad Pitt's two following Inglorious Bastards. Let's see. Uh, but Tim Roth, Uma Thurman, Michael Madsen, Bruce Dern, Harvey Keitel, and Kurt Russell have those stars beat, appearing in three Tarantino films each. That was fun! But when it comes to the actor in the most Tarantino movies with six total, the winner is Samuel L. Jackson, starting with perhaps the director's most acclaimed film, Pulp Fiction. Oh, I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? Speaking of acclaim, there's been a lot of it for Tarantino's movies. Film buffs get ready to bow down down at number three. Here we go. Every single movie he's written and directed is certified fresh with at least 65% good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, with most much higher than that. Pretty cool, huh? And five of his films, Jackie Brown, Pulp Fiction, The Hateful Eight, Inglorious Bastards, and Django Unchained have either won or been nominated for Oscars, not to mention loads of other awards. Yes! Woo! Hopefully his latest is as good, and when he gets around to releasing his 10th and what's expected to be his final film, it'll be too. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Pumping up your QTIQ on the hot list.